Hello, my name is Denzel and welcome to Art in Motion. Today I'm going to show you how to make a double-sided shader. Double-sided shaders are used for anything that's flat with two sides, like cards, material, paper, the pages of a book, even money. You can come up with your own creative uses for this technique, but I find there's quite a lot of use cases that it does come up. So I'm going to run you through the basics very quickly. So as always, we're greeted with our default scene inside of Blender. What we'll do is we'll just click select at the top here, click all, then just press delete on the keyboard to delete everything. We will then go to add, mesh, plane. So now that we have a plane to work with, we'll go to the tabs at the top here and go to the shading tab and click new. And with the plane selected, we will click on new to create a new BSDF shader. And then we'll go to add at the bottom here and add in color, mix RGB, plug it into the base color. We'll change the top one to red and the bottom one to blue. And as you can see, we've got a bit of a pink color because all it's done is mix the red and the blue together. But what we want is we want one side to be red and the other side to be blue. In order to do that, we go to add, input, geometry, and we take the back face, we take the back face input and we plug it into the factor. And now we have one side red and the other side blue. We can change this up a little bit. So now one side's green and the other side's pink. This also works with shaders. So you can mix two shaders together, have one side be shiny, have the other side be very matte, or have one side glow and the other side not glow whatever you want to do with this so i'll just give you an example quick we'll delete the bsdf shader we will add in a shader mix shader plug it into the surface we'll then add in a glossy shader plug it into the top and then add in and then add a emission shader and plug it into the bottom we'll make the emission shader red and we will take the roughness down on the glossy shader. So now we've got this really shiny red surface and we can fade from one to the other. But as we did before, we'll take the back face culling and plug it into the factor. So now one side is very shiny and the other side is very red. Let's move on to a more practical example, which I showed you at the beginning of this video. It's going to be playing cards. And if you're interested, you can join my Patreon and you'll be able to download the project with all its textures. And before we move on, remember to like the video and hit subscribe and ring that bell. Okay, so getting back to the practical example that you saw at the beginning, let's just recreate it quick. As we did before, we'll just delete everything in our scene. We'll then press Shift and A and create a plane. We'll then press Tab to go into edit mode. We'll then press S on our keyboard to scale and press Y to scale only on the Y axis and then type in 1.5 and go back into object mode and there we have it something more card shaped. We'll then go to the shader tab, click on new for new material, press shift A, go down to texture, select image texture and plug it into the base color. We'll then click open and find the texture that we're looking for. In this case, I have my textures inside of a folder and I'll just show you quickly. We've got a back and a front. So let's just add the front first. There we have it. We will then press Shift A, go down to color, mix RGB, put it in over there. We'll then select our material node. We'll then select our image texture node, press Shift D and duplicate it, plug it into the bottom. We'll then click on the folder here to open up. We'll then make it the card back instead. So now we've got this thing that looks like a mix between the two, which we can fade between. And as we did before, we'll press Shift A, go to Input, Geometry, and plug in the back facing. And there we have it. Each side is different. But as you can see, we do have a little problem. The corners are solid. And the reason being is because we need to tell it that there's an alpha there. So the way that we do that is we take the alpha channel from one of them and we use it with transparency. So what we've got to do now is press Shift A, go down to Shader, add Mix Shader, plug it in over here, then press Shift A and add a transparency shader and plug it into the bottom. So now we can fade from one to the other, but as you can see, it sort of just goes black. 
but that's because we're using EV. And in order to get EV to work with a alpha channel on textures, we have to go down to the material tab over here. And inside of the settings, we've got a blend mode. Remember to save often because Blender 2.8 uh, in beta isn't very stable. You might have a stable build by the time you watch this, so it might be fine. So here by blend mode, you can choose how it's gonna work. So generally alpha clip sort of should do the trick. So there we got it, it is officially transparent. And then what we're gonna do is we take the alpha over here and we plug it into the factor. And as you can see, it's the wrong way around. The corners are solid and everything else is transparent. So we just got to swap these two around and there we have it. Works perfectly. Now, the one major benefit to double-sided shaders, it works with instancing. So you can use it with things like particles, like we did in the example I showed you at the beginning. So just to show you quick, let's just add a UV sphere and we will add a particle system over here and we go down to render and we'll change it to object and we will select the plane. So now if we go to animation where we've got our timeline and we scrub through the timeline, all of these little particles are playing cards. Well, I hope you find this tutorial useful and you can use it for your projects in the future. If you become a patron on Patreon, you'll be able to download the example project as well as the textures for the playing card to play around with using double-sided shaders. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if you like the music in my videos, you can download that music from Artlist, it's very cheap, and if you use the link in the description, you'll get an additional two months free. Yo, look, I ain't saying that I'm rich, cause if I'm honest I've never been, but when I look at all these other kids, I feel just a little bit ahead of them.